while the world was focusing on actually the solutions in terms of how uh, to get the products to the consumer faster, there was very little focus on in terms of like what would happen to these products after they're being consumed. So the problem which Recycle is trying to solve impacts everyone. Uh, each creature which is staying in the planet uh, has been impacted because of this problem of waste and resources which are not utilized by the people in the right way. So Recycle is trying to change the behavior of the customer towards the waste. And they should not treat waste as a waste. They are trying to bring that waste is a value. It's a resource which can be used again. The waste is getting collected either through our door-to-door -door collection ecosystem in the urban like areas, but in majority of the other places, other places it doesn't get collected. So the waste collectors who are collecting all this waste, uh, I mean primarily the recyclable waste, and they get it, they, they accumulate this and collect it, bring it to a kabadiwala. From kabadiwala, actually, they do coarse segregation between plastics, metals, and other cartons and other I mean paper and other categories of waste. From there, it goes from trader to trader to a processor and finally to a recycler. So getting the waste on time, getting those products on time has become the biggest problem per se. So getting the product on, on time, like the quality at which they come with and the compliance risk involved in this has been a problem for the recyclers per se. So we solve these problems. We started actually uh, solving these problems with our marketplace. So marketplace becomes uh, the bridge between the informal the supply and the formal demand per se, recyclers. So recyclers can come and see in terms of how much supply is available. The, uh, the sellers can see in terms of the waste processors can see how much is the demand without knowing a specific party per se. And they can see and they can actually, we have uh, our prediction, AI price prediction engines and other things to figure out in terms of what is the best waste for the quality of the waste, I mean, material which is being produced by the sellers. So that's the connect which we create between the recyclers and the uh, informal ecosystem. We have actually uh, innovated further on the business models in terms of how uh, different models work like uh, plastic credits or EPR ecosystem which we have built and other things. Uh, apart from that, actually we have built tech models with, uh, I mean we have built AI models to identify different categories of waste. So if you think about waste per se, there is very less data or information which is available in this ecosystem. Every sample set which you take is different. So identifying in terms of how, uh, what categories of waste come, like in a sense, and how well it is segregated, whether it is contaminated or not, is the first problem to be solved. So we built a solution called SmartScan. So we built uh, computer vision models uh, to identify the waste which is coming from each household and what is the quality of their segregation, dry waste segregation per se. The world is world has a limited resources, we all know, and pandemic has taught us a big lesson that the environment, the climate is the biggest one, and we all are very small in front of it. So if we don't take care of the planet, if we don't care of the resources properly, then the resources are going to finish somewhere. The next generation will not have the resources. So the recycle is trying to bring that behavioral change amongst the consumers, each one on the on, on the planet, and change his behavior towards the waste and make him more responsible and he should use the resources properly. So uh, coming to the AI based engines for operations, it's largely uh, recommendation engines in terms of like actually recommendation and prediction engines per se. So we predict when would the supply be available, the next supply be available from the seller, the based on the, uh, the pace at which they're collecting and they're growing. We uh, predict what is the price which main in the market today and how it's going to trend over the next few days. So that enables us to uh, provide the confidence to our sellers that actually you need to collect and sell I mean, in, under different scenarios. We also have models which predict in terms of like what would be the logistic cost uh, which would be there in a particular route if, uh, if we were to actually move the material from a particular seller to a particular buyer, then what would be the predicted logis logistic cost? We also predict in terms of the, what is the price at which a buyer is going to buy kind of. So all these things we put together, different models we put together to uh, smoothen the process 
to bring a predictable income to our sellers and to uh, source the material for the buyers person. So our plastic credits uh, tool like actually enables that process. So we have different mechanisms like of collection and collecting this waste. One of the ways is like one of the sources is like through our DRS uh, I mean a moat like our vending machines from where the material is actually coming from. So that is like a traceable material which is being collected back. So uh, deposit refund system is actually a, a simple mechanism which, uh, which drives the change in the consumer behavior per se. Every container would be having a deposit uh, on the container which the consumer pays as an additional value to the product when they purchase. And when they give this material back, like the product back, like if you bought, bought a bottle of water and you paid, I mean, a few rupees extra for the container, like a deposit on the container, and when you give back the bottle, you get the deposit back. Few credits added to your mobile number. Apart from that, we are also we are also working on uh, reverse vending machines, which enable that it doesn't require a person to be there. So wherever the vending machine is there, we drop a bottle in that based on the QR being identified and the material being identified along with the QR. Uh, the deposit is transferred to the consumer account. So uh, we had actually started piloted this uh, uh, product in Kedarnath last year. We have come up with a uh, encrypted QR code. A mechanism which which each bottle is going to carry so every bottle would be having that and that would be the basis for us to determine in terms of what is the deposit which goes into it so this has helped actually large-scale collection of waste and keep the Kedarnath clean per se and for this initiative actually we have won uh, Digital India Award uh, this year, it's a presidential award which we won this year. And apart from that, we use several other tools to ensure that uh, the, there is an end-to-end -end traceability in terms of how the waste is getting collected, where it is getting, getting collected, where is it moving for storage and processing, and where is it going for recycling. So we present these tools with complete traceability so that any brand coming to us, like I mean, where we are offering these solutions, we, they can trace back uh, each ton of waste in terms of how it has been collected and where it has moved from where to where and other things. So we have introduced this uh, uh, product called Rethink Plus for schools, which enables actually students to do the same, like take a test in terms of how they are, how aware they are, and watch through some of the main intriguing content in terms of how what sustainability really means, so that they can actually improve their sustainability skills per se. One of the other ways is actually we are providing a formal channels, channels for collection. So we have created formal ecosystem for collection through IOCL. We have recently introduced uh, the collection mechanisms where it is like actually you can bring different types of waste, categories of household waste, uh, which can be which you can deposit there and get uh, like good discounts on the fuel which you're purchasing from the petrol bunks. Uh, so that's one of the major initiatives. What Recycle does day in day out is really create, trying to create a green world, right? Uh, recycle is trying to work with various stakeholders like everyone in the waste ecosystem from the rat picker to a brand like Unilever, Pepsi to a rat picker, all of work works with us. We're trying to build an ecosystem through which we can really make this world more greener. The waste which is going to a landfill or ocean can be diverted to the right place and can be utilized again. And through that, we will be creating that green revolution and make the world a better, better place to stay.